Guys, there ain't no way to explain or say how painful the hangover was today. In front of the toilet, hands and knees, trying to breathe in between the dry heaves. Just a few few verses of uh, poetry I wrote earlier today to uh, describe my hangover that I... <laughs> Dude, what the hell? What's going on, guys? I'm not magic here. Um, yeah, so... Just decided, I mean, I'm just kind of making a video right now. We're just kind of going at it. I don't even have gameplay that I'm looking at or anything. I'm just, it's like I'm, I almost feel like I'm doing like a radio show or something. I don't know. I'd be, dude, honestly, to get like a gig doing like a, being like a radio host of like K-Rock or something, that'd be so sick. I'd be way too down. But I don't know. I'm content with this right now. Just being able to do commentaries for you guys. I love it. I love it. It's great. It's good times. Um... So yeah, I wanted to talk about sexting with you guys today. Yeah, that's that's what I, every, you know, honestly, every time I think of like sexting or like naked pictures, not just naked, but like, but like, you know, texting like a naked picture or something like that, like tweeting it out, I guess is the new modern way to do it, <laughs> make it public for the whole world to see. Um, but every time I think of it, I think of the uh, episode, oh my gosh, what was the show called? It was, um, it was on Netflix. I can't remember it now. Um, but it, oh, it was, um, Blue Mountain State, Blue Mountain State. Um, that show was so funny. I only watched, like, the first season of it, and I was kind of over it. But it, for what I watched, it was pretty funny. Uh, but they had an uh, episode where it was just all sexting. Like, that was, like, the entire, like, premise of the episode. And, like, their whole moral was that if you're going to do it to, like, not show your face in the picture, just so it can't be traced back to you. So funny. I don't know. If I were to give anyone advice, which is fucking weird in the first place, but if I were, uh, I would just say that... If you're gonna like just realize that if you're gonna send a naked picture if I were to get a naked picture sent to me I would literally be able to tweet it out in like five seconds uh, Not saying that I would I mean I'm not trying to like burn the bridge of getting any more naked pictures or anything like that uh, <laughs> I'm just saying be be smart Technology and social media at its prime right now not even at its prime just it's it's booming right now so just know that if you send a naked picture you will probably be on the internet for forever. You will be just being looked at by creepy, weird 40-year-olds for eternity. So just keep that in mind. Um, anyways, that was a weird way to start a video. But uh, yeah, the time I wanted to talk about was between me and this girl. Hopefully it was a girl. Um, <laughs> oh man, I'm laughing at my own jokes. That's how funny I think I am. Um, but it was between me and this girl, we were like, quote unquote, talking, not really going out. I feel like that's what my status is with a lot of girls. Just like, oh, we're talking, but not officially going out. It's not Facebook official. No one even goes on Facebook. Um, <laughs> but basically what happened was that we got into this kind of like deal, like, and by, like I mentioned, we were talking, um, and we got into this kind of thing where she would send me these really revealing pictures of herself and I, I don't remember what she called it. I think she called it like a bow or something but it was literally like it was like the most revealing thong in the world like lingerie I don't it was like a shoelace half a thread and so she was sending me pictures of her in those and she had like 40 of them it was just I don't I don't know how you are a girl and you're with your mom buying those and your mom's just like oh this will look great when you're sending some random guy half naked pictures of yourself I even have this she was like 90 percent naked nothing was left to the imagination so so she was sending me these pictures and what was great about it was like there was she wasn't like asking me for anything in return she just kind of like would randomly send them like we'd be talking like oh what'd you do yesterday and just boom random naked picture of her random half naked picture of her i should say um so me being you know the stupid idiot prepubescent person <laughs> I, I didn't want to insult myself too much more that i was um I devised this plan of, I was gonna, like, I wanted to get, like, these full-on, 100% nude pictures of her. Like I said, I was, that's a little creepy to say, like, in a commentary. I don't know. For me, it is. Uh, so I devised, like, this whole plan, and I was going to text her after she sent me a picture one time and ask her for it. And that was, that was my plan. That literally took me, like, a week to, like, come up with and everything. It was brilliant. Um... <laughs> So what happened was one night she sent me that picture just kind of out of nowhere and I text her back and I don't, I'm going to be honest, I don't remember exactly what I said. So I'm going to try to come up with something very close to it. Basically what I want you to get from this is that I 
was trying to be really slick, really smooth with her. And I ended up being a complete, like, I probably sounded like the most retarded person in the world. I said something along the lines of, oh, you looked really good there, but it'd be cool if you changed out of that and into those really sexy pants that you have. But before you change into those, you should send me a picture of yourself mid-changing. Like, I said it super weird, just really confusing, like, and she texts me back. She's just like, wait, what? And then she sends me another message before I even have time to reply. She's like, you know what? If you don't even like me dressing like this for you, then I'll just stop sending you pictures. And I was just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, that's not at all what I was trying to get across. You're completely missing the point. Opposite sides of the spectrum right here. Um, and so I, I'm like trying to convince her like, no, that's not what I meant. And finally, I come out and say, you know, I just wanted to get naked pictures of you. I'm just going to be honest. And she like texts back in like all caps. You know, how girls like get mad and they like text in all caps and like franny faces and shit. And she's just like, you pervert and i'm just like come on like give me a break so yeah that kind of ended abruptly like a week later we just kind of stopped talking it was super awkward after that i'm not gonna lie um and then like i want to say half a year later she was in this serious relationship with this one girl and kind of ended or <laughs> i just realized that she said i said she's in like a serious relationship with another girl no she was in a serious relationship with another guy no other no lesbian couple was involved i don't know exactly what i just said there um and so that ended up really badly and her ex-boyfriend ended up sending out like countrywide naked picture of her and so like by the end of the week everyone and their mom had a picture fully naked of her uh like honestly I, i'm on i'm almost 100 percent sure my mom had a picture of her not gonna lie um <laughs> i'm just kidding but uh, yeah, so I guess I ended up getting what I want. Got to got to get those nudes in the creepiest way possible. Just I, I don't even know how to explain it. But uh, yeah, so <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, you should leave it a rating. It really helps my channel. I know a lot of people are always like, oh, rate my video. It helps me out so much. It gives me all this money. Or it grows my channel. I don't know. I don't know what people say, but um, it really does help me. So if you guys want to, ratings are. They really are appreciated, not gonna lie. Um, maybe leave a comment of any awkward moment you've had texting a gr girl like this. I don't care like how inappropriate you want to get with it. Just, I don't know, do it at your own risk, I guess. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. All right, peace.